Hi fancy stampers. Boy, it's been a while since I've done a video, so it's time to get back in my craft room and get to work. Well, I've been at work in my craft room. In fact, if you look behind me, you will see I have another table set up in here and it is becoming a huge cluttered mess. I took a year off from teaching, which is what I love to do. Obviously, I kind of get my fill of that a little bit with my Stampin' Up! videos. But I got a new teaching job for next fall and I am going nuts getting ready for it. So I have been really kind of devoting myself to that. And my stamping stuff has kind of slid to the backside for a little bit. So time to get back in this room, get my shoes on. Oh, I love these shoes. And my daughter, when she saw them today, she said, oh, mom, did you get new shoes? And I said, no, I've had these forever. And then I thought, what in the heck? Why am I keeping these in my closet? So I know I keep preaching this, but let's take out that stuff that we have that we love, that we keep hidden away from ourselves, saving it for special occasions, and get those things out and use them. So slipping my shoes on because I <laughs> really enjoy being in my craft room and I have everything that I adore even though it's a cluttered mess in here it's still my favorite spot to be so let's make something it's been way too long okay I've got all my stuff ready to go so what I'm using for today is color combination of garden green and daffodil delight so I have the ink pads then I have for my card base a piece of the Daffodil Delight cardstock and then for layering and this is actually what I'm going to stamp on this is the garden green Ooh, got a lot of shadows going on today but it's kind of cloudy out right now so my room's a little darker I have my trusty snail adhesive which is a must-have for every project that I do I swear and I have three stamp sets that I'm using not using all the stamps from each set but um, using one I'm going to use the little for you from Chalk Talk I love this set. It has a coordinating um, big shot die set, the thinlets, so uh, framelets, I believe they are, so that those are really awesome to have. I am in love with these sets that pair up with either a punch or a framelit for the big shot. I am also using Petal Potpourri, and today um, I'm going to be using this flower stamp. Love it. I have <laughs> really found that the more I stamp, the more I love flowers, so it's been kind of fun. Then the Build a Bouquet set, which is a really fun set to have, and I'm just going to use the little leaf petal from that. All right, just to get started, I have my Stampin' Up! trimmer, and I've already cut my cardstock down to the size that I want, but I want to use this. I'm going to get the cutting blade out of the way, and I'm going to score this at... Oh, where's my half here? Four and a fourth is halfway. I'm just going to score that. This is why I absolutely adore my Stampin' Up! trimmer. Okay, this shadowing is really going to drive me nuts. But if I don't know if you can see that really, but it just forms the little um, bend spot for me. So it scores it, and it's so easy to make such a clean fold on my card. So I've got that ready to go for my card base. Set this aside for now. I am going to bring that back out in a little while and trim down my layering piece here. And now I'm just going to create a background. So taking my Build a Bouquet set, and I am just using, peel off one of my stamps, just using the little petal. And I'm just going to do color on color. So Garden Green is the same color as the cardstock that I have. So I'm going to ink this up and just create a little background for some flowers. Now I kind of want this to be a little haphazard on here because I'm not exactly sure. I'm going to put three flowers on here but I don't know as far as placement goes exactly how they're going to fit. But I love this color on color and I'm just going to give it a little bit. Oh, not too happy with that one but the nice thing is I can just do a little Restamping. This is going to be fairly forgiving for me. I'm going to leave a little spot here because I do want to do a stamp in that spot. Okay, we're going to do that that much and see how it goes. Put the stamp pad away for now. Then I'm going to break out. Oh my gosh, you know what I need? I need another piece of my Daffodil Delight 
So give me a second while I grab that. But what I'm going to do is be stamping my flower image. Same thing, color on color, Daffodil Delight ink pad with the Daffodil Delight color. And I want three of these flowers that I am going to then punch out. So I'm going to run them along the side here so that I can use my punch. I think three is going to be a good number for me. Clean off my stamp. Close up my ink pad. Take my stamp or my punch. I love these things. They store flat and I just pop this button to open it up. And then if I can get, I'll get myself out of the light here. You just slide these in. You can see where to line up your stamp. Let me see if I want to do this. Um, one thing I have found is sometimes in order to get my punch in there where I want it with this flower because it kind of has to be in a certain spot, sometimes I have to do just a little bit of trimming. I'm going to do a little bit more. Make it easy for myself here so I can get it right. And I'm going to slide this around. Of course, my eyes are a little better. You know, the need for bifocals kind of drives you nuts after a while. Get this lined up where I want it. And the thing I love about these punches is, look at that, I can hold it in the air and punch it out. Okay. Flower number two. And let's get flower number three. Hey, yay, one worked without me having to do a lot of messing around. All right, so I've got my three flowers. And what I'm going to do, let me see if I can bring this in a little bit so you're not quite so far away. What I'm going to do is place these on here, kind of like a little flower bouquet in the middle of the card. And I am going to stamp my sentiment which is just going to be the little for you stamp. A little round, I'm gonna put it onto my acrylic block there. And I'm loving this color on color thing tonight. So using my garden green, cause I'm gonna be using stamping this on the garden green. I better turn it the right side up here. I'm gonna, before I adhere those flowers down, stamp that on there. Okay. So that's all the stamping I'm going to do. And I'm going to adhere my flowers on here. But before I do that, I want to trim this piece down so that when I layer it onto my card, I have a border around the outside. And the thing that I love to do, when I get a sheet of cardstock, you know, a full sheet, I cut it in half and then I have two cards. But oftentimes I take one of these pieces that I would use for a card and I just cut it in half and then you have those layering pieces that you can just trim down later on. And I think I explain that every time I do one of these, so sorry about that. I'm just going to put this on here, get rid of my scoring blade, and just trim off a quarter of an inch off of these two sides. So that's a five and a fourth for that side. Ooh, and I just about cut off my stamp of my sentiment. I probably should have done that on the top, but I think it's going to work out fine. And now I'm going to layer these three. So it kind of looks like it has the petals on there. And I am going to put these on with the Stampin' Dimensions because I want all of these to be raised up. So I'm just putting one Stampin' Dimension on the bottom of that. We know we have to get, I have to get that stuck to my fingernail or, oh, seriously. <laughs> oh, I hope you're not watching this just for the comedy of watching me and my lack of coordination. But hey, if it lets you have a good time and motivates you to stamp, that's really all that matters. And I laugh hardest at myself probably out of anybody. So I don't mind if you're laughing and I know there's certain people, Zach, who watch this just for the comedy value. And there it is. That's everything I want to do on there. You know, I think there's a little bit of a blank spot that I want to I want to take care of. I don't like this little 
hole it looks like that I have. So I'm going to get my um, pedal back on here. And I just plop this. Um, I always use both sides of my acrylic block when I'm stamping because now if I do this card and I want to make more than one, I can just kind of flip-flop back and forth. But just kind of filling that in. Okay, what did I tell you? You can tell it's been a while. Okay, I like that better. It's just got a little more color in there. I don't want to fill the entire thing up, but I don't want it to have a lot of blank spots either. And I'm just going to set that onto my card with my snail adhesive. Probably would have been easier to apply the snail adhesive had I done that before I put my flowers on there with my 3D Stampin' Dimensionals, but it's working. Okay. And there you have it. A little flower bouquet card. Get my, so I can get the light to be right so you can see the flowers. While it's the cutout shape, still has an imprinted image on it with the stamp set. Just a very, very simple card, very quick. And if you keep watching my videos, you will find that that's a common theme. I love to make stuff, but I like to make stuff where I can do it fairly quickly. So if you, if you like to make things that are fast and easy, and yet I think rather adorable, then keep joining Miss Fancy Stamps and you will have some ideas, hopefully, to get you into your craft room. So put your shoes on, get busy. See you soon. Thank you.